how to survive loneliness during the holidays and beyond. Loneliness is a big problem in this country and around the world. L loneliness, what is it? Loneliness is a complex and usually unpleasant emotional response to isolation. Loneliness typically includes anxious feelings about lack of connection or communication with other beings, both in the present and extending into the future. Feeling sad and unhappy about being socially isolated. As in this uh, photo, the young lady is saying, and sometimes it hits me out of nowhere. All of a sudden, this overwhelming sadness rushes over me, and I get discouraged, and I get upset, and I feel hopeless, sad, and hurt. And once again, I feel numb to the world. And it's a problem that many, many people are suffering, especially during the holidays, but during the course of the whole year. And what's the cause of loneliness? Loneliness can be normal and is only an indicator of underlying disease when feelings become excessive, all-consuming, and interfere with daily living. It's a natural human feeling. If you're alone or feeling unwanted or unloved or something similar, you're going to feel lonely. Feeling lonely all of the time could mean that you're longing for something more than what you currently have to fill your loneliness. And it's a normal feeling. You know, everybody goes through it, a little depression, a little loneliness. And one of the ways to deal with it is to say, oh, I'm lonely or I'm a little depressed. I'll just go through this period of time and then it'll be over and I get back online. But loneliness can kill. Researchers have found that loneliness is just as lethal as smoking 15 cigarettes per day. Lonely people are 50% more likely to die prematurely than those with healthy social relationships. There are several reasons why loneliness can be deadly. Stress will always affect you more if you're lonely. Loneliness is a feeling of emptiness inside you. You feel isolated or separated from everyone. Cut off from those you like to have contact with. Instead, loneliness is the feeling of sadness, of being alone. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, except for loneliness, because loneliness will kill. Now, what is clinical depression as opposed to loneliness? A mental disorder characterized by persistently depressed mood or loss of interest in activities causing significant impairment, impairment in daily life. Symptoms of clinical depression are restless sleep, early awakening, rumination, which is the process of continued thinking about the same thoughts, which could lead, tend to be sad or dark, is called rumination. Uh, like a cow uh, regurgitates the food as it eats the uh, grass, ruminates. So if you keep ruminating, which is a habit of rumination, can be dangerous to your mental health as it can prolong and intensify depression as well as impair your ability to think and process emotions. You know, one of the videos I made about overcoming negative thoughts, there was a joke that Bob Newhart had was how to stop negative thoughts was simply stop it, stop it. How is clinical depression different from sadness? One, clinical depression has no clear or discernible cause. Two, it is constant and does not improve without medical treatment. Three, medical depression is not related to life's challenges. So if you have any of these three things, you should consult a doctor. SAD, or social Seasonally Adjusted Affected Disorder, SAD stands for Seasonal Affective Disorder. It is a mood disorder characterized by depression that is caused by shorter winter days and the lack of sunshine. Systems may include loneliness, sleep deprivation, fatigue. Treatment includes light therapy, photo phototherapy, talk therapy, and medication. Consult a doctor for medical advice. If you are suffering from SAD or clinical depression, Make sure to consult a doctor for medical advice. Uh, sad statistics. 5% of 
In a given year, about 5% of the U.S. population experienced seasonal depression. 10 million are affected by seasonal disorders. It's estimated that 10 million Americans, another 10 million to 20%, may have mild SAD. And four out of five people who have seasonal depression are women. So if you're a woman, you have far in a four in five chances of having seasonal depression. Now, seasonal depression, how you can beat holiday depression. Exercise a daily 30-minute walk may help prevent depression, so take a brisk stroll down a snowy path. I recommend to everybody to get treadmilling. Uh, during the winter months, when the days are shorter and it's cold outside, a treadmill is a good uh, advice to help you get over the mood swing. Enjoy the sunlight. As little as 15 or 30 minutes of sunlight, best in the early morning, will go a long way to alleviating the winter blahs. So if you could go out and have a nice walk on a nice day, nice sunny day, it goes a long way towards beating seasonal depression. One of the most important things is get enough sleep. A lack of sleep can take a toll on your mood, so aim for seven to nine hours of sleep each night. And that means get to bed basically at the same time so you wake up at the same time and have a sleep habit. And aim to sleep seven to eight hours a night at least. Moderate alcohol consumption. Two glasses of wine are plenty for the holiday parties. One if you already had the eggnog. What they're saying is try to avoid alcohol. It doesn't help the sadness, and you only feel worse the next day. Adjust expectations. Don't let visions of perfection spoil everything. Learn that most things can be good enough, gifts, food, company, etc. You know, we all grew up watching Father Knows Best, uh, the Ozzy and Harriet, the, the fantasy American life, which was really a fantasy. They weren't dealing with what we're dealing with nowadays. Self-help for loneliness. Volunteering, attending community or religious events, or taking a class may help form new friendships and reduce loneliness. Going for a meal, coffee, or walk with family or friends may also help. And that's another important thing. The people that are your friends, that are your true friends, reach out to them. I personally, re personally recommend taking dancing lessons. You get to meet friendly people who are also looking to interact with other fellow human beings. It's a good to focus your, on your thoughts on what you have in your life instead of what you don't have. Embrace loneliness and use it to reinvent yourself in the process. While you're alone, you have time to make contact with yourself. As uh, Jean Paul Sartre wrote, if you are lonely when you're alone, you're in bad company. So love yourself. Be good to yourself. Be your own best friend. Because in being your own best friend, you can be someone else's best friend. So love yourself so you can love others. I hope this video has been of help to you and give you some insight into loneliness. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos, our information, our website. Like us on Facebook. Please subscribe. Click the button on the subscribe button or the bell to get notified when new videos come out. I wish you the best in the new year. And anything we can do to help you, please put in the comments. And we'll try to create something to help you deal with your problems. Best wishes. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.